Hello all, welcome to the continuation on how to transform the data using the Power Query Editor in Power BI Desktop. So uh, for this video, I have a data set which is nothing but the Indian state level election data set. So let us try to explore the data and understand what are the transformations which can be applied to it. So first let us try to load the data into the Power BI Desktop. So if your data set is huge, it will take some time to get loaded. So please wait until it is completely loaded. This navigator, it will give you a preview of the sample data set of the actual data set. So we doesn't know any information or we know, do not know anything about the data. So let us load the data first and then uh, understand the different uh, columns or the different fields within the data set and make some transformations which will be helpful for uh, effective reporting and visualization. So the data set is loaded. So let us try to view the data. So here you have various columns like the state name, the year, and then the candidate name, party name they belong to, and the other details, okay? So first let us look at the state name. So here, Andaman and Nicobar, Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, everything is same. Chandigarh, Chhattisgarh and Chhattisgarh. If you see here, there are two different formats of Chhattisgarh. It is C-H-A-T-T-I-S and C-H-H-A-T-T-I-S. So when there are two different values, these will be considered as a different states and the um, reporting will be done accordingly. So let us try to uh, normalize or make these data look similar. Okay. So we will make the C H H A T T I S G A R S as C H A T T I S G A R H. Okay. So in order to do this transformation, what are you supposed to do? Just close this, go to this report view, click on the data set and click on the transform data. We will try to load the complete data. So we get all the columns, we get all the states, okay. So we wanted to replace C H H A T T I S G A R H as C H A T T I S G A R H, okay. So in order to do that, select the column and then click on replace values and then replace values here. Search for C H H A T T I S G A R H and replace it with single H, okay. So this should actually replace our data. Let's see those whether it is replaced or not. So yeah, it is replaced. Okay. So here you can see like CHHA is replaced with CHATTISGARH. And next you can see here Goa, Goa, Daman and Ayu, Goa, Daman and Ayu. There is a comma separated here. So you want to replace this comma separated with any one format, either uh, Goa, Goa, Daman and Ayu or Goa, comma Daman and Ayu. So whichever has this format, I think we'll make it uniform and uh, all three can be made it to Goa, Daman and Dayu. So this is for example purpose, but based upon your requirements, you can change the data accordingly. So now let's try to visualize. Yeah, so now you have Goa, Daman and Dayu and then uh, Delhi and Chhattisgarh, okay. And all the others looks to be fine. So we will leave it as such. And Puducherry and Pondicherry, same way you can make this. Both are the same places. So you can change Puducherry to Pondicherry as well, okay. And uh, so I leave with this. Uh, I leave with this particular uh, replacement also, but when you're dealing with the actual data set in your real time, you need to make everything uniform. So this is one, uh, the replace value, which will be helpful for replacing all your uh, data to the standard format. And next is, let's see what is the data type for this. It is a whole number. And here, if you see here, there is a data type which is pointed to text. So the Power BI desktop, it automatically detects the type. So this is considered as a text type and this is the whole number. So this data type points to what type, what is the type of this particular column. So it is text and if you click on each and every column, you will be able to find the data type which is changing. Okay. If you want to make any other transformations, you can change this whole number into an integer decimal number, percentage or fixed decimal number and things like that. Okay.
So if you go for percentage, you will be uh, getting it in the, in, the person, in the form of percentage. Okay. So, but I don't want this to happen for this elector. So I leave it as such. So I'll remove this percentage type here. Also, if there are any null values in your data set, you can replace those values as well. Just using the replace values and give replace values here, search for null and replace it with either zero or any other uh, text based upon your requirement. Okay. And if I want to remove duplicates from this entire data set, I have to select all the columns and right click and then remove duplicates. So duplicates can be removed either to a single column or the entire data set based upon your needs. Okay. And your actual data may contain any values, right? So we wanted to remove the columns which are not required. For example, if you consider the candidate name, this is not going to be uh, useful for me. So for this purpose, I'm clicking on this candidate name and I'm giving remove column. Okay. I'm just clicking on remove. So this column will be removed. Fine. If you want to make this uh, gender into a binary, then you can make it as zeros or one. M can be replaced with zeros and F can be replaced with one. So let us try to replace here. M can be replaced with zero. And F can be replaced with one. Actually, there seem to be a null value in the gender. So you can replace this null. So I'll replace NULL with zero. Okay, so now we have one and zero. But the data type of this column is still a text. So I wanted to make this into a whole number. Okay, so either you can go to the data type and change it there or click here. Either you can change the data type of this particular column using the data type whole number option here. If not, just right click and then change type to a whole number or any other format which you require. Okay, so I think uh, the transformations which I have done so far is enough for me and uh, I can proceed with reporting and visualization. So before closing this, you wanted to close and apply here. So all your changes must be applied to your data set. Okay. So let us try to explore few other features or options in the Power Query editor in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.